हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मुकेश एंड वेलकम टू सीक्वल प्रैक्टिस वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कंटिन्यू द प्रैक्टिस सेट एंड दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो आई ऑलरेडी गिवन हो यू द ओवरव्यू ऑन द लास्ट वीडियो सो लास्ट वीडियो आई विल आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टोर प्रोसीजर एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो आई प्रोवाइडेड यू सम type of the assignment so uh, hope you able to solve it if you not able to solve it uh, you can watch this video uh, complete you will find the solution and uh, if you really uh, doing the you if you really doing the practices in the sequel and uh, you are interested to learn the sequel in the detail uh, you can just uh, download all the material from the video description and uh, learn by the self uh, i already provided the uh, video for the learning of the sequel you can find all the uh, playlist here and uh, you can download the training material from from the uh, video description and the interview question all as well and you can keep practicing and crack the next interview so in this video i will discuss the important question uh, which is the totally based on the dynamic sequel so i uh, hope you understand hope you learn what is the dynamic sequel so let give you the overview what exactly question i have the question is the develop a store procedure to take the data from the csv file so we have the csv file and update a core table using the dynamic sequel concept okay so this concept is also applicable if you doing the practices like if you uh, import the data from the excel into the database and you can keep practicing okay so here uh, i have one excel file so you can see uh, this excel file we have the employee name first name last name and the phone number so basically suppose this uh, uh, contact information which is updated by the employee and they provided the data uh, to the hr team and the hr team will send to you to update the data uh, in the table whatever we have so like i have here 12 11 record so manually you can do 10 to 11 record but if you have the million of the record manually it not possible so through the sql uh, within the second how you can load the data into the database and how you can update the data okay so the the question is the we already have the contact information for employee 1 to uh, 12 so if you see the sql server management studio uh, i have this uh, different phone number for employee uh, 1 to 12 we have so you need to update all this contact information uh, based on the excel file so uh, that is the requirement and uh, i hope you understand the what exactly we have the uh, requirement so now here i have uh, uh, this uh, store procedure uh, need to be create so i am creating the store procedure and uh, first checking the store procedure is already available then first we need to be uh, drop the procedure and uh, i am creating the store procedure and uh, here we have the input parameter is the source path so source path is basically uh, the path where where the file is located either is the local machine or either is the ftp path so uh, you can always pass the parameter of this path here okay so i will show you the uh, uh, by using the execute uh, sql also so i am declaring one sql so this is the concept of the dynamic sql okay so i already provided the dynamic sql video as well so just you can go so basically i am just uh, creating one temporary table and the creating that column based on this uh, whatever the column available in the excel file like employee key we have first name we have the last name we have uh, the uh, phone number we have okay so and i am using here the uh, bulk insert okay so i am setting the sql is equal to uh, bulk insert so bulk insert is the inbuilt function uh, which is available in the sql to load the data uh, from the source path any flat file uh, to the table 
and this is the table name uh, temporary table i created you can also create the main table if you if you require if you want okay so uh, because this table i not need in the future i am just updating the data if the this data you need in the future also uh, you can create the uh, main table instead of the temp table and this is the source path uh, i concatenating by using this plus symbol and uh, this is the syntax of the bulk insert i am using the with clause so first row is equal to 2 so if there is no header okay so suppose in the excel file if there is no header is there okay so suppose this header is not available like suppose this if you remove like data is available here uh, like suppose if you delete this data so you can see there is no header is there uh, in that situation uh, you can use this uh, first row is equal to 1 because we not required the header uh, we already have the header into the uh, temporary table uh, table i created like the first name employee the first name last name but if the excel file want to read the data from read, uh, second row that is the reason i put it here the first row is equal to 2 uh, data file terminator is always clear and uh, file ter uh, delimiter is equal to comma and row terminator is equal to new line so this is the syntax so and i am executing here the sql and this all the data will be load into this uh, temporary table after that uh, i am using the begin try and begin transaction here uh, because if any type of the unexpected error will be occurred during the execution so immediate rollback will be happen okay so here i am using the e phone number basically setting uh, i am joining with the deem imply to temp table so in this temp table we have the only four record is there okay uh, like 10 record 11 record whatever the record is available into the uh, excel file so that imply only we need to be update the phone number whatever the information is available into the excel file that information only need to be update here otherwise other imply information no need to be touched so i use the join and uh, here i am using the commit transaction and uh, uh, begin catch if any type of the unexpected error will be occurred, if we go to a rollback transaction and this is the straightforward uh, the error number, error severity, error state, error procedure, error line, if any type of the error will become. And uh, at the end of the store procedure, I am just putting the uh, joining with the stamp table to the main table, uh, just display the output, okay, just display the output. So, uh, we can understand what data is updated and what data is not updated so this is the only visibility purpose of the client the visibility purpose of the user uh, and uh, even the developer also they this very helpful to check what data is available into the excel that number of row is affected or not okay so this is the very big uh, good practices to work while we doing the update statement and uh, we need to close in and you need to put the go okay so let me install the store procedure uh, first into the database and then i will execute it okay so i'm just installing the store procedure so once the store so uh, could not find the path of the youtube uh, update table store procedure sql okay so this uh, basically uh, we have some file is uh, removed so just you can open in this new window okay uh, so now I'm going to execute this one. So the last error while uh, coming, the reason is uh, the file is got changed here. So now if you run this store procedure, okay. So here selected here executing. So let me stop executing, okay. Let me close this window. okay uh, it's got hang so let me select this different database so like i have suppose uh, uh, march is sql training database is there okay or uh, something like uh, you can take the any data warehouse okay so we can take this one so here we can see uh, dw1 so i need to install this database and uh, before executing let me show you on this database 
uh, we have this all the table like same the data is there so you can see we have this uh, font contact information here so this is the contact information so let me execute the store procedure by just uh, we have the located file into the uh, e drive okay so once you uh, run this store procedure the data will be updated so now you can see the store procedure is executed and you can see the data is updated whatever the file data is available under this file if you uh, go to back to this uh, uh, table so you can see uh, we have the uh, tool till 11 uh, phone number is got updated after that uh, whatever the all format is there that phone number is available so like this uh, you can uh, uh, create the dynamic sequence and uh, if you have any question uh, if you have any doubt you can put the question on the uh, comment box so this question is basically asked one of the uh, uh youtube youtube subscriber my student so how you can load the data and update the data by using the excel or csv format so if you have any this type of the question if you're going to attend the interview and uh, if you want to solve this question you can ping the question into the comment box so uh thank you so much for the watching complete this video i'll meet again in next one thank you so much